recently was on a website typing away looking to buy something and everything was going pretty good for the most part there was a little hiccup before but I, we, were, we were able to work through that but we got to the end to go buy it was buying a book online and we got to the end and when I got to the end something really bad happened this company, when I was going to buy, they were like, hey, do you want this cover for $5.25? Do you want this sticker removed for $3.26? Do you want a special gift box sent to you for $8.94? And I was just like, man, this, this, this company is desperate for cash. I could feel it. It was palpable through the screen. Okay, It was rapacious. They wanted those dollars. And I was like, man, I, I was having a good experience until that. I don't want to go back now because of that thing okay it screamed weakness and desperation okay pity pity money is pennies but strength is sustainable predictable cash welcome to another episode of self-employed success secrets weekend edition with me your host marcus on today's episode we're gonna talk about the quality you should aim for in your business the the mindset the ethos if you will that you should have in your business and it's this is what it is okay strong on your own better together okay well really strong on our own better together okay companies clients want to buy from people that are strong okay like let's say if you're not strong okay and this is this is a thing that happens when you're self-employed let's say you just start out and you are a graphic designer or you're an illustrator and you have one client, right? And someone's like, who are you working with? And you're like, oh man, if you tell them you have one client, a lot of them will be turned off by it. But you also can't lie. So the secret to that is get a second client as fast as well. The second you have two clients, you can say I have clients and people will have more confidence in you. And also too, this is important. Um, it's not really related to this video, but it kind of is. Um, is that every time that is that what I want to say, is that self-employment is one of the least risky ventures you can do because every time you get a client, you spread the risk. If you have one client, you have 100% risk. And this has been talked about before. If you have two clients, you have 50% risk. If you have three clients, you have 33.3% risk. If you have four clients, you have 20% risk. 25% risk, and you have five clients, you have 20% risk. There's, you get to a point, you got 10 clients, you have like zero risk. Which means that you lose a client, you don't really care. And as you get as you get more clients, you get more strength, and, and clients want that. Clients want someone who is strong, stable, um, and secure. Who's gonna, you know, help them have a safe future, and um, is is gonna help them with their overall, you know, well being. So, like I'm gonna say that again. Clients, people want to work with strong, stable, and secure companies that value their clients safety and future well-being you want to project that image all the time with your clients and it can't be a gimmick okay but it can be a gambit all right something that's going to give you an advantage over other companies a lot of companies are flexing they are spurious it's a patina of strength okay and then when real trouble, real times, hard times come, that those watershed moments, they're they're exposed. And this happened during the the pandemic, where basically a lot of companies after they're big, strong, and tough, and they didn't have any money, and they they died. Okay, and you don't want to do this. Why like every day in the shadows of what you're doing? Okay, because the customer service isn't about helping people in their face; it's about what you do behind closed doors. The best customer service you can have is continually to strengthen yourself and your business, strengthen yourself financially, mentally, always learning, always growing, always getting better, okay? Accretion, all right? So, because this is very important because companies just want to, to work with strong companies. You got to be strong. Remember, we're aiming to be strong on our own, better together, Okay? Meaning that you can make it without them. And meaning it, when you're able to go work with people and you, you can really give off a vibe of, I don't need you, that makes them want to work with you because like he doesn't need me. They're intrigued by that. Because as we talked about at the beginning of the video, 
so many companies are desperate for cash. So what if you are desperate for cash? That's something that's interesting too. What you got to do is that use that time to cultivate strength in your business. Okay. Use that adversity, those trials, those tribulations, those teachings to move you forward. Okay. Use everything to help you. Okay. And then you eventually will get out of that and that'll be strength. And remember, strength doesn't come from what we can do. It comes from overcomes we thought. It comes from overcoming things that we thought we can. So take on challenges. Okay. Take on things you can't, you don't think you can do. Ask for more money than you feel comfortable asking for. Okay. And these things are going to help you move forward and create real strength. Remember, it's not a gimmick. It's a gambit. Okay. A gambit means something that is entails a degree of risk that, that it's a device action or activity that entails a degree of risk but is used to gain an advantage okay you gotta have ways to strengthen yourself in the future all right so hopefully you get some of this video and also stay tuned for a surprise remember 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 you always want to give off the um the image of strength okay and don't make it be fake okay always be in the in the, in the background grow your strength do hard things that's how you're stronger okay you get physically stronger by testing your muscles, okay? I made a video a few Saturdays ago about make sure to work out and make sure to do that. Um, okay, so let's see to our surprise. This is some intel into being self-employed that clients won't leave you if they think it won't hurt you, okay? We're going to say that again. Clients won't. I'm telling you, there's real, there's real secrets on this channel. Clients will not leave you if they think it won't hurt you. It's weird. It's dark. Yeah, it's dark. Um, but if they feel like this dude, this company can make it easily without us, we don't need them. We're not going to leave. They're not going to leave if you don't care. You know, that's another thing, too. If you don't validate them, if you don't, if you go somewhere and you're, I'm in the, I guess the pre-work stage with a company right now and I'm, I'm doing the whole, and it's not a technique, it's real. It's just, I don't need it, but you need it because they need you. And this goes back to, you got to be the opposite of your client. Your clients are, you know, weak and afraid. You got to be strong and confident, okay? And he's going to help. And that was today's secret, by the way, is that a client won't leave if they think it won't hurt you. Okay, so hopefully you ended your week well. It, it was strong, but remember when hard times come and you don't feel like working, you don't feel like doing something, that's when you gain strength, okay? That's kind of a subtext of this video, that companies want you to be as strong as possible, but aim to be strong. Your mindset as your business to be strong on our own, better together. Strong on our own, better together. Work to that every day. Hey, I don't need any, I don't need any more clients. Yeah. Act that way and let it be legitimate. But it, we'll, we'll be better off if we work together. Okay? When you're selling, project that. Like, dude, woman, we don't need to work with the company. We don't need it. I'm not. I'm going to get paid by somebody else. But if we work together, we'll be better off. That's the vibe you want to set the opposite. It's like, you know what? I need money, and I need you to work with me. And people can smell that. Okay? And so you've got to work through that. And if you do, when you do go through those hard times, use it as fuel to get better at the first strength. So that way you win either way. Okay, it's very hard being self-employed and it's, it's very hard for people to find somebody good. And if you're really, really good at your job, like you're really good, charge for it. Because most people are not good. You gotta remember that. Prices are determined by the supply and demand. Okay, not by your feelings. They're determined by facts. Don't let important things be determined by feelings and setting your prices is an important thing okay this client about to work with i gotta charge them like a thousand dollars for what's going on and that's, that's just is what a thousand a month and so we gotta you gotta do those things that for based on facts okay not feelings okay a lot of people oh i shouldn't charge that much that's based on their feelings like you should you should charge that much because life is short and if you're good at what you do it'll show Okay. So hopefully you got some of the value from this video. Uh, enjoy your Sunday and just take some time to think about this. Remember, be strong on your, remember, aim to be, aim to have your mindset be strong on our own. Better together, okay? Six words. Strong on our own. Better together. Okay, if you can, if you can project that image of 
strength, you'll win. Okay? Remember, pity money is pennies. When people feel sorry for you, they'll give you a little bit, give you a but strength is sustainable, predictable cash. If you come from a place of strength, like, do you need us instead of, I need you. Okay, thank you so much. And just think about what I'm saying and test it. Okay, test everything I say. Okay, it's not just, you know, BS. All right, thank you.